Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, Brandon. I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Brandon. Take two. I'm Brandon. Take three. Hi, I'm sitting here with Melissa Magalski. Hi, I'm Melissa Galski, and this is Brandon Small. We used to do a show together. Long time ago. You guys ever watch Friends? No, we didn't. No, we're too busy making our own show, horse movies. Uh, but uh, we had it. We did. Sure, did did we do that or what? We did it. We did sure it a did. long time ago. So for a couple of years. Name yourself. Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Get serious. Quit screwing around. Seriously. This is my first interview. This is my first interview I've ever conducted. It's the first one I've ever. This is going on my acting reel. It is. Do you act? All right, so let's get serious. Yeah. Those, there's a reason you're here today, Melissa, and the reason is people want to know who you are. Really? Yeah. What characters do you play? I played the character Melissa. On home movies. On home movies. What's your real name? Melissa. Are you going to act like that every question? I was just being honest. No, but you're kind of being a smart ass. That's just me. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. <laughs> Good. I'll take it. <clears throat> Um, so... Who did you play? Oh, you're interviewing me, okay. How did you get the job on home movies? Well, it's funny you should ask uh -huh. that, Brandon. Because I was actually um, so you were going to be the associate producer on the show. At the were time you really, it was just, though? Yeah, at the time it was just a pilot we were working on. Did you on. know that you were going to be the associate producer? Yeah, Lauren and I had talked about it. I was working at Soup to Nuts, which was then Tom Snyder Productions. I was doing casting stuff for Dr. Katz, actually. And Lauren was telling me about a new UPN project, a pilot they were doing. I think it was, there was a creative working title like UPN project, something like that. Okay. And we talked about me coming on and being associate producer. Which means you get coffee, basically. Mm, pretty much. <laughs> That's showbiz talk for get, get lunch. Give me some coffee. And he was bringing in someone he was very excited about, named Brendan Small. Um, I love this To story. audition. He had seen him at... Uh, Comedy studio. The comedy studio in Harvard in Square. In Harvard Square. Still running, still up. Go talk to Rick go Jenkins. Go check it out. He'll let you in two for one. Tell him Brendan sent you. Tell him Brendan sent you scorpion bowls. You know what I mean <laughs> when, I, when you get there. And I can't blink. I have to do it one at a time. <laughs> I, whose interview is this? And so, yeah, so he said that Brendan, this kid, this young, scrappy kid named Brendan Small, who, Rough around the edges, I think is us. what he said. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I, had, I was a paper boy at the time, and... Uh, Yeah, I wore the short pants and the hat, you know, the paper boy hat. And he saw me hollering on a street corner, hey, get your paper. And he goes, that kid's got a good voice. That's, that's kind of how it happened. And he asked me if I wanted to stick around and watch the audition, and I said no. But he talked me into it. And I stayed, and you auditioned, and um, he asked me what I thought, and I said, not that impressed. Yeah, I remember not that. Not that impressed. Because the outside he's, room mics were on while I was still in the booth. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. I think I said he's funny-ish, but we decided to Which give you... Which is her way of saying, I think he's Jewish. <laughs> and, but we gave you another chance. Mm -hmm. um, and you were auditioning or actually doing something for the demo. Mm -hmm. And you were in there all by yourself and you were getting lonely. So Lauren asked if I wanted to go in. And I did. Chemistry, magic, gold. Four seasons later, here we are. Here we are. So yeah, so I wasn't. I had no aspirations of doing voiceover or acting or anything like that. I was What like, did you? I was a behind the scenes kind of girl, and Lauren um, threw me in, and it worked out. Yeah. The, the people at UPN liked what they heard. Well. They know comedy. Can I tell the true story that happened? That was kind of how it happened. Yeah, but there's more to it. All right, go ahead. You and, and I. And then after yours, I'm going to tell how it really happened. Okay. Okay. I like this. Fair enough. Yeah, it's more fun this okay. way. No, what I remember is I met you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I had auditioned yet, but I, I think it was it was definitely your first time coming in. I think it was the first time. I don't think I'd gone in yet, and I think I was just kind of chatty because I didn't. I was, you know, about to be put in the booth and put in the spot. You were nervous. Kind of like, you were nervous. I, yeah, I was nervous. You were nervous. I was nervous. People get nervous. I'm a human It's being. It's true. It happens. At, at the end of the day, I'm a human. Yeah. The first day that we met after mm -hmm. you auditioned, and yeah. we both got a ride into Harvard Square. Yes. And we hung out, and I think that we became friends because we both quickly realized that we could talk, like neither of us was going to give up. 
Yeah, that's true. You know, like we were goofing around yeah. and doing whatever, and both of us were thinking, wow, this person also, because I think both of us were used to doing things that very quickly the other person wanted to stop the conversation or not do that character yeah, it's, it's a specific or not gene. be involved in a bit when it's you're called, There is actually like, a gene that's called the most annoying gene in the world. Yes, and, and we, we both, both have share it. That. And we clicked because yeah. I was the whole time I was talking to him, and I think we were pretending to be... Whatever, I think we were random. I think we were running we around. We were Harvard CD Square shopping, and, and we were like became just, characters. And I'm in my we, head the whole time. I'm like, wow, he's not giving up either. Yeah, that's just a not going to A worthy competitor. Yes, yes, yes. I accept your battle of wits, Madame. <laughs> but no wits <laughs> involved. I tipped my hat to yes, you. Yes, indeed. Yes. In the annoying yes, session. I, this will be a lifelong battle to yes. see who will give up first. And I hope to be Victor. <laughs> but the thing is, is eight. Seven, however many years, years later, later yeah. it hasn't has not stopped. ended. Our phone bills, if we ever call each other, <laughs> would be huge. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Melissa. Yes. The character. Yes. Who is she? The character. Answer in five. An How many words? words answer do I have five answer? words. Five One, words. Two. For three, me to four, answer. Who? Five. That's it. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, Melissa is the voice of reason. I like to think. The smart one, the pretty one, the one with all the ideas, the one that gets things done. Do you disagree? I'm listening to you. <clears throat> I, who do you think Melissa is? Why are you always asking me? Melissa? Every day he calls me up, who do you think Melissa is? Who do you think Melissa is? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's annoying. I wasted so many daytime minutes calling her <laughs> and asking her those and questions. I, yeah. Hang right up. Hang up. Um, oh. Melissa to me yes. is one of the ladies on home movies. Yeah, one of the few ladies. A younger lady. Mm -hmm. um, people um, describe her as the voice of reason. Mm -hmm. She's she's got it together. She's kind of more of the producer, but also she an is. actor. She is. But she gets things done. Well, she uh, oh is God, almost like a like liaison. Just realize that. Okay, sorry. That's go ahead. It's impossible because we wrote this character for you. You kind of came up with your own character. Hmm. Cats out of the bag. Hmm. Do any... you think that Brendan and Melissa would have ever gotten together in like season 10? What are you saying? <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a bad I shouldn't have even asked that. Wow. You're doing a really great That's job. Perfect. I was nervous for you. I thought you would choke. No. But you did. You're doing a job interviewing. Well, thank you. I would never guess it was your first time. Thank you. So, um. Last question. How do you juggle? Last question. How do you juggle? You have to get three objects. I'm sorry, how do you juggle producing slash acting duties? Oh, well, it's funny that you should ask that. Because I asked myself I revoked that. the question. <laughs> I revoked the question, <clears throat> right? Excuse me, cut that cough out. I ask myself that every day. I think, Melissa, <laughs> how do you juggle? Yeah. Being a producer, being a character, being a woman living in these crazy times, uh, oh. being a friend, being a daughter, being a sister, being, um, it was yeah. easy, I have to say. Um, I yeah. kind of thought of it at the beginning as one less person to cast, one less person to have to deal with travel, that kind of stuff. Um, and the day of, I didn't really think about getting in the booth, I'd be doing my producer mm -hmm. stuff, and then when it would get to my scene, I would run in and do the scene. And, and just kind of half-ass it. A little bit phone it in, in a way. Yeah. Um, but I think it helped me in the beginning to not be nervous about getting in the booth since it was the first time I was ever right. recording. You were never, it never seemed like you were nervous. Because I was so busy doing all the behind-the-scenes production stuff, I didn't really have time to, you know, I'd literally be working up until I would get in and do my thing and get out. Because otherwise, <clears> I think <throat> if I took time to think about, like, oh, wow, I'm going in to record, Everybody's listening to me. Everybody's listening to me. I'm in there with people who've been doing this for so much longer. Profes seasoned professionals. Professionals, exactly, that I John, would have. The wrath of John Benjamin. Yes. Ooh. When you were the only girl, almost, aside from the other females on the show. Janine. Janine. I was the but only. You were, yes. But you were, you were right in the Yes. Shit. You had to deal with a bunch of just egos. It's true. Clashing, smashing. Fisticuffs. Uh, fights, brawls, mm -hmm. like mid-joke brawls, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, I don't think, I think it should go this way, I think it should go that right. way, let's go outside. And you'd be sitting there being like, 
no offense, but the girl. Yeah, doing my nails. Doing your nails, playing with your hair, talking about shampoo, like right now. I'm like, I don't want to go shopping or something. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Writing to do <laughs> shopping. I'm gonna, yeah, I want to yeah. go shopping or something. Yeah, so is it But a there you are. So there's like all this, mm-hmm. this like raging testosterone, testosterone everywhere. happening in home movies mm-hmm. from episode, from moment to moment. And it's just a swirling whirlwind of just tempestuous, uh, just rage, you know? Yes. And you're sitting there. Yes. Always wearing a dress. Mm hmm. Always wearing a top hat. Full gown. <laughs> Full evening gown, pearls, pearls, the whole thing. Yeah. And you keep it together. Yes. Was that tough? No. I gotta tell you, this is one of the best conversations I've ever had in my life. I've gotta tell you, for me too, the same thing you said, but for me. Yes. Uh, It was really great getting to know you again. It was great getting to know you as well. This is like getting remarried for the second time. This is like the most natural conversation I've ever had. And so I wanted to say thank you for coming down here. Thank, and I wanted to say you're welcome. That's great. Um, so the other thing I was going to say is thanks for coming in here. You said that. (laughs) And uh, I really appreciate you sitting so close to me. You're welcome. Considering you know what. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Guys, say goodbye to Melissa. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a little bit and laughed a little bit and loved a little bit.